Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, and welcome to our Google Tag Manager tutorial. In this video of the tutorial, we're going to give you a bonus section where we talk about common mistakes that people make with Google Tag Manager, and then we're going to give you some tips that you can use to make sure you don't make these mistakes yourself. So listen up if you want to make sure that you use Google Tag Manager the right way, and so that you don't affect your website in a negative way, because you probably already have tracking in place, and you're probably using Google Tag Manager to replace that tracking. So you're going to want to understand how it all comes together, and we're going to show you that in this video. Here's a bonus section. Beginner mistakes to avoid when it comes to Google Tag Manager. So if you're just getting started, make sure you avoid these mistakes while you're deploying Google Tag Manager on your own site. The first mistake is not previewing your container before publishing. The second mistake is publishing too often and without purpose. The third one is not using variables in the data layer because even a constant is a variable. And the fourth mistake is automating to the point of gibberish. So I'm going to harp on previewing a little bit more here and say make sure you preview your container before publishing. So here we are on the Jefflytics website and I wanted to test that scroll tracking was working exactly how I thought it should work and how I wanted it to work and here we go. I just did a preview and yes I can see scroll tracking is working. I went further down the page and I verified that it's working exactly as intended. The next mistake, publishing too often and without purpose. This really grinds my gears. When people publish all the time without even testing things, without clicking the preview button, basically being too lazy to preview something, they just publish it and see what happens. I do not like this. Put a gun to my head. Please don't do this yourself because it is the worst and nobody's going to like you. You will have no friends if you publish over and over again. If you have a GTM container that has like 10,000 different versions of the container, I think you've done too much. You should spend more time previewing your changes instead of just acting on a whim. Please just don't make this mistake. Please only publish when you're sure that what you're publishing is ready for the prime time. And make sure you use the preview button as early and often as possible to get better results. The third mistake is not using variables and the data layer. Because even a constant is a variable. Make sure you use all your built-in variables. They're there for a reason and they have a lot of value that's inside of them. So even if you don't want to put the data layer on your site or if you're not sure about it or if you don't like your developer or any of those reasons, at least use your built-in variables. And if you're feeling fancy, the data layer is the key to everything working together. The data layer is the translation system between your unique CMS or e-commerce platform or your website experience, your server-side scripting languages, and any tracking that you want to do, any tag that you want to fire. So make sure that your data layer is in place if you want to push data from one system to the other. And the final mistake that beginners make is that they're automating to the point of gibberish. Here's the deal. Doing automatic event tracking, tracking things like scrolling and videos and everything like that, it's really cool. I love it. It used to take a lot of code, a lot of effort, and consultants got paid a lot of money to do it. And now it's basically built into the platform. And I'm amazed by it every single day. But I've seen people take advantage of this to the point where they automate to the point where the reports are complete gibberish. They can't understand things. There's tons of events that pollute your reports. And then it becomes really difficult to focus on anything else because the data that comes in is complete and absolute junk. It's garbage and it's not useful. And so if you want to make reporting more useful, yes, you should use automation. But you shouldn't overdo it, you shouldn't track things that are not useful to your organization, and you shouldn't go overboard. So make sure you don't automate to the point where it's complete gibberish, and that you have even worse data as a result. So that's it for our GTM tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and if you did enjoy it, leave a comment with your biggest GTM question that you have for us. We're going to take a look at all the questions you have from the community, and we are going to try to answer them in future videos. We are going to try to up our content game when it comes to Google Tag Manager. 